What's going on everyone? My name is The Jibbred and in this video we're going to cover 15 reasons why you should buy the Nerf Modulus Ghost Ops Chrono Barrel and that starts right now. Alright, let's start this all off with number one, solid build design. The Modulus Ghost Ops Chrono Barrel is a very sturdy and high quality product. Since this attachment falls under the new Ghost Ops subseries, it's rocking that clear plastic design. I didn't think I would like that since you would be able to see all the clutter and wires inside the thing, but once I attached it to a blaster, I realized, hey, just being able to see inside gives it this very tactical yet sleek design. Number two, no dead space. The Chrono Barrel is compact and its barrel length isn't overly excessive. The product is large enough to fit all the necessary internals inside, yet it's small enough to the point where the barrel diameter doesn't cause any noticeable dart friction. Number three, tactical rail. Hasbro didn't have to do it, but they were smart enough to realize, hey, we got space underneath this dang thing to put ourselves a tactical rail, cause why not? So go ahead, attach a grip or another fancy nerf attachment to this attachment and go rock the battlefield. Number four, the chrono barrel isn't that heavy or clunky. It's easy enough to install two AA batteries inside the attachment in order to operate it, but even with the batteries inside, it's actually not that bad. The weight is something you can get used to. And you can easily stabilize the blaster if it's a little front heavy by simply holding the underside of the chrono barrel. Number five, versatility. The chrono barrel is compatible with any Nerf blaster with a barrel adapter, making it very versatile. Plus, with the system, it's just so easy to snap on and snap off the Kona barrel when needed. Number six, light up display. The approximately one inch LCD display has a red backlight that comes on whenever the chrono barrel is turned on, turned on then attached to a barrel, or when a dart is fired. This red light makes it a lot easier to read the display whether it's daytime or nighttime. And because the plastic of the chrono barrel is clear, the red light really illuminates the top half of the attachment, giving it this intimidating sci-fi look. Number seven, battery saver. The red backlight automatically turns off after 30 seconds if the chrono barrel isn't in use. To also save the battery from draining, the chrono barrel itself will turn off if left untouched for 10 minutes. Believe me, this feature is a lot more helpful than I thought. I've forgotten to turn it off so many times in the past few days I've owned it, and this feature just really helped out. Number eight, flawless performance. So far, I've had zero issues, lag, or malfunctions with the chrono barrel. The sensors have excellent respond time, and they relay whatever information they have to the display instantly. Number nine, very simple and very straightforward operation. There's only a few buttons on the chrono barrel, so it's easy enough to even use on the go. Basically, it's foolproof. You can toggle between the count up and count down modes using the switch, and there's a couple other buttons that I'll talk about later. Number 10, the Chrono Barrel's Count Up mode. This mode is activated by choosing it using the slider. It's a neat feature that tracks how many darts have been fired. It's not so much practical as it is fun to use. For example, if you're just test firing a blaster or using something in a Nerf war, after your session you could look at the display and say, oh hey, I fired 127 darts in the past hour or something like that. So it's kind of neat that way. Or as another example, you could use it to track how many darts it takes to, let's say, hit down a target. And if you need to reset the number, you can just hold down the clear button. Number 11, the Chrono Barrel's Countdown Mode. Now this is the good stuff. Just like the Count Up Mode, it can be chosen by moving the slider. The Countdown Mode displays the number of darts that you have left in your blaster. When you turn on the Chrono Barrel, the default number is 6, but if you need to adjust that, you can do so by using the Add or Subtract buttons. So let's say you have an 18 dart magazine and you insert that into your blaster. Now you have to adjust the number from 6 all the way to 18, so you just keep pressing the Add button until it reaches 18. And every time you fire a dart, it will subtract 1, so if you fire a couple of times, the number will display 16, indicating you have 16 darts left in your blaster. Once you fire all 18 darts, the display will show a flashing zero. And the display will change from zero to 17 once you fire a dart. Essentially, it's a handy ammo counter to show you how many darts you have left to spare. It could be great in a nerf war scenario because then you can decide whether to conserve your ammo or just go rambo on your opponents. Since you have to manually input the ammo capacity into the chrono barrel, it's actually really important that you stick with the same capacity magazines and each magazine is loaded fully. Because the minute you start switching from 20 dart magazines to 18, to 12, to 10, to 6, to 22, that really becomes a lot more work to input that capacity every single time you switch out the type of mag you're using. And if each magazine isn't filled properly, that just adds another layer of complications. 
So basically, stick with the same mags, make sure they're loaded fully, otherwise, just not doing that kind of renders the whole feature useless. But when you can use the countdown mode effectively, that's, it's, it's good, it's good. Number 12, the dart velocity feature. This is the same as a built-in chronograph, which allows you to see the velocity of each dart fired. It's definitely my favorite feature of this product. Whether you're using the count up or the countdown mode, the chronograph will always be on display. You can change between feet per second and meters per second by holding down both the add and subtract buttons. I'm telling you, this chronograph feature is incredibly powerful and useful. For example, by knowing dart velocity, I can tell which of my darts go further than others. I can tell that my Strife probably needs new batteries because it's getting around 48 FPS instead of around 70. Uh, I can tell that my Regulator's 3 dart burst actually severely reduces dart velocity and so on. I can just keep on going. People have found that the average elite velocity is around 70 FPS. So with that in mind and with the Chrono Barrel, you can use it as a benchmark to compare it with other Nerf blasters. If I get Nerf guns in the future that are compatible with the chrono barrel and I have to do some firing tests, I no longer have to set out a measuring cape to estimate ranges. No matter how I look at it, the chrono barrel will provide a more accurate and less biased representation of ranges. Number 13, the chronograph can read velocities higher than 100 feet per second. Before this product officially came out, people were worried that this chronograph would cap out at 99 FPS, but luckily that isn't the case. So if you got a modded nerf gun with a barrel adapter, you can use the chronograph to see how heavy hitting it is. Number 14, the chrono barrel will stand the test of time, at least for quite a while. There will always be a need to test ammo velocity or see how much ammo you have left in your blaster and there will always be new nerf guns released with the same barrel adapter system. Therefore, I believe the chrono barrel will still be useful for at least a few years from now. It's too bad the Chrono Barrel doesn't work with rival blasters or blasters without barrel adapters, but it does such a great job with what it's able to do. As an update, starting now, I'm renaming Question of the Day to Food for Thought. Just like before, in most videos, I'll ask a question and you can respond to it in the comments and make sure you use the hashtag food. Then I'll read some of them, respond to some of them, and maybe, just maybe, you can be featured in my next video. Anyways, here's this video's food for thought, and let's get back to it with number 15. And finally, number 15, the Chrono Barrel is simply one of the best Nerf products you can buy. Ever since its announcement to its release, it's just totally lived up to my expectations and I couldn't be happier with it. I can go as far as to say it's one of my favorite Nerf attachments ever, period. For a retail price of only 15 USD, it is an absolute steal. Buying a professional chronograph is more versatile and probably more accurate than the chrono barrel, sure, but then you just look at that huge price difference between these two things. At the end of the day, it's your choice to make whether you want to buy the chrono barrel or not, but what I'm trying to say is it feels like you're getting so much more than what you actually pay for, because not only are you getting that chronograph feature, you're also getting the count up and the count down modes. On the scale of legitness, I gotta give the chrono barrel a fresh rating. More specifically, I label it as the winner winner chicken dinner. Just an excellent choice for an excellent price. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, you'll like the ones on the screen. Or if you're feeling it, check out the Nerf playlist in the top right corner. To buy the latest or greatest Nerf gear, check out the description down below. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.